What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to get the backend and internal error or disconnected from server area fixed, assuming it's not your network having issues. This video will run through some simple solutions and more than likely your issue will be fixed, though do remember the game's currently in beta at the time of uploading this and shortly after it'll still be pretty new. Expect issues with servers and fixes to come along with in due time. Let's get on with it. First of all, you should restart your PC and any networking equipment you have, whether it's routers, ONTs, etc. Restart pretty much everything and that should make sure that it's not your network having issues. It's always good to restart once in a while anyways. Then we'll be changing our DNS servers. If you haven't done this already, well hey, you may even enjoy a free boost in internet responsiveness at least when browsing the internet. You can right click the network icon on the bottom right of your PC, then choose network and internet settings or navigate across to here manually through the settings window through network and internet. Then we'll choose ethernet or if you're on wireless, wireless. We'll choose private network. Obviously, if you're on a private network, as in not public Wi-Fi, then we'll scroll down a little bit looking for here, DNS server assignment. We'll click edit. Then enable IPv4 and for preferred DNS, we'll be entering 1.1.1.1. Then alternative 8.8.8.8. The first one is Cloudflare's and the second one is Google's DNS and they're usually pretty good. Personally, I find Cloudflare's is a little bit faster. You'll get these options by simply choosing manual from the drop down here if you don't already see them. Then click save and your internet connection may drop for a few seconds while it's reconnecting. While we're inside of here, head back to Network and Internet and head into Proxy, but we'll make sure that Proxy is set to off here. Same goes for VPN. Make sure you don't have a VPN connected at the moment. And of course, if you do have a VPN, well, hey, it's worth a shot testing to see if having it connected actually fixes your issue. A little bit counterintuitive, but if you have a VPN server near to you and you already pay for a subscription, well, hey, give it a shot, see if it fixes your issues. Assuming you're still having issues, we can close out of our settings window here, hit start, type in firewall, and open the Windows Defender firewall settings. Inside of here, we'll head across to allow an app or feature through the Windows Defender firewall. These features are blocked as I have a third-party antivirus with a firewall built in. If so, you'll need to allow the app through there. Giving you an example with my laptop here, allow an app or feature through the Windows firewall, then change settings, Click yes if prompted, and inside of here, you'll simply be locating Dark Tide. If you don't see it, click allow another app, then we'll be selecting it from the list of apps here. Otherwise, click browse and navigate across to the exe file. Inside of Steam, right click the game here, manage browse local files, then open the binaries folder and we'll be adding darktide.exe here. Then when you've added it to the list, make sure that both of these tick boxes are checked, private and public, next to darktide. What next? Well, let's try running Steam as admin. In the top left, click Steam, then exit. And when you're searching for Steam, or using the icon, right click and choose run as administrator. Hopefully the next time you fire up the game, things will be a little bit happier if something's blocking it for some reason or another. Running as admin may step around it. If you're running on wireless, it may be too unstable. Try using an ethernet connection if possible. If you're stuck to wireless, try at least moving a bit closer to your closest access point or router. Now, if you're still having issues, it's worth checking if Windows has an update and while you're at it, update your GPU driver as well for a free performance boost, more than likely. Windows Update should automatically update your network driver, especially if you haven't updated it before. Otherwise, you can try searching for an update manually. You can either use the device manufacturer's website, more than likely your motherboard's website or your laptop's website, and downloading the latest driver through there. Otherwise, hit start, type in device, and open device manager. Inside of the device manager here, you can simply expand network adapters, find the way you're connected to the internet, for example, this gigabit network connection. I can right-click, click update driver, and that'll simply scan the internet and Windows Update for an updated driver that it'll then install. If it finds something, make sure to restart your PC and see if things are fixed. Now, if you haven't already, make sure that your system time and region are correct. Hit start, open up settings, and inside of here, navigate across to time and language, then date and time, and simply make sure set time automatically is on, turn it off, and back on. That way, it'll reset and sync the time if it was previously incorrect. Make sure your time zone is correct here. And if you change it, you may need to set time automatically once more. 
Your region will be set automatically in the top right, or at least on Windows 11. And to change it, you can either click it or head across to time and language, then language and region, and simply make sure that you have it set here as country or region. On top of this, make sure that your preferred language is set to English or at least a variation of it. English South Africa is what I have, but you can also choose English US, English UK, etc. If you've done all of these and you're still having issues, simply verify the game files as it may be an issue with the game files on your PC. Right click the game, click properties, then on the local files tab, click verify integrity of game files. Now let's assume that you've tried absolutely everything and you're still struggling. What else can we try? Well, it could be an issue with your settings on your PC for the game. We can try and reset these and some people have reported that instead deleting their save files work as well. Obviously, that's not the best thing to do at all. However, instead of deleting them outright, we can copy them out of place, see if things are fixed, and then assuming they are or aren't, copy them back into place and hopefully it'll continue working if it fixed itself. Hold start and press R to open up the run dialog. Type percentage, app data, percentage, and hit enter. Inside of here, we're looking for Fat Shark. Simply open this up. Then inside of this folder, you should see Darktide. You can, of course, delete it. Otherwise, simply rename this folder so that the game can't find it. Fire up the game once more and see if you're still having issues. If you're not, it could be something to do with your settings or save file, which you may be able to edit manually or through the use of third-party tools. Regardless, you should close the game, come back here and rename it back, deleting the newly created Dark Tide folder and replacing it with your older one with your save files in it. At this point, things should be working properly and that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching, my name's been Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!